1209's One O'Clock News with Leticia Ponce Diaz. The whales continue to struggle for freedom and an effort to muscle cigarette ads out of sports. Those stories just ahead. Do you sometimes think it's a little ironic that tobacco companies sponsor athletic events? Well, the Justice Department and the Federal Trade Commission are looking into that today. Reporter Carol Cook tells us the investigation will center on the law that bans cigarette ads from TV. Anti-smoking activists are crying foul over tobacco company sponsorship of sports events like this. Cigarette advertising has been banned from television for nearly two decades, but tobacco company sponsorship of these events still gives products national exposure. The makers of Marlboro, Virginia Slims, Winston, and Salem spent an estimated $150 million last year to sponsor athletic events, plus millions more to advertise those events. It's clear that cigarette companies continue to place the highest priority on associating tobacco with sports and on pushing tobacco on sports enthusiasts. In a statement to the government's Interagency Committee on Smoking and Health, Surgeon General C. Everett Koop called the move clearly a violation of the spirit, if not the letter, of the law banning cigarette ads on TV. That sentiment was echoed by Dr. Alan Blom. We are uh, maybe discouraging smoking in young people, but we are losing the battle as the tobacco sports connection is undermining everything we are doing. Companies want to link cigarette and smokeless tobacco products to athletic events, Coop says, because it associates tobacco with physical fitness, gets around the TV ban on ads, and allows companies to directly target youngsters. Olympic gold medal diver Greg Luganis smoked from ages 8 to 23. He quit five years ago and encourages others to do the same. They asked me what my, my biggest accomplishment has been, and my biggest accomplishment, as far as I'm concerned, is quitting smoking. The Tobacco Institute called the ban on sponsorship of athletic events, quote, totally unacceptable government regulation at odds with the First Amendment, a position shared by the conservative Washington Legal Foundation. The government should not get involved with banning products or, for that matter, at all prohibiting a company's uh, uh, speech with regard to a product or the sponsorship of a certain event. That sets, in our minds, a very dangerous precedent. A bill to ban all cigarette advertising died in a House subcommittee this year. As for sponsorship of sporting events being a violation of the TV ban, a spokesman for the Tobacco Institute says if it is, they should take us to court. Carol Cook, CNN, Washington.